Okay, so, uh, well, first of all, uh, so thanks to the organizers for, um, uh, of this workshop to, <laughs> to give me um, uh, an opportunity to, to talk. And uh, <coughs> so, um, I have a long title, but uh, uh, so it has to do with the minimum output entropy. So minimum output entropy. Uh, and free probability theory. <coughs> and uh, this is a um, uh, joint work so, uh, with uh, Sharban Belinsky and Ion Nakita. And in a sense, it's a, it's a continuation of um, the lectures that, uh, that Ion uh, gave last week and to a lesser extent of the lecture that I, that I gave um, uh, two weeks ago. Uh, so of course, uh, I, I don't assume, I'm not assuming that everybody was, uh, uh, was around and I will, I will give a very quick, uh, um, uh, I will recap very quickly what, uh, what we did during this um, <coughs> Um, these, uh, these lectures. Uh, I will also recall definitions. Um, so maybe I should, uh, I should say so. So, 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 um, so. so what, uh, and uh, then, <coughs> um, I would like to, to spend uh, um, some time on uh, <coughs> some time on the on the free probability aspects <coughs> of um, our solution to the uh, minimum output entropy uh, non-additivity uh, um, result. Uh, since this is a, an audience which with lots of uh, knowledge in, in uh, free probability. And uh, <coughs> some of our results are a little bit uh, technical from the quantum information point of view, but uh, I mean, I guess somehow that, uh, that there are some, some, you know, some possibly uh, interesting uh, uh, free probability uh, uh, questions which uh, related to quantum information which still need to be um, uh, studied more in depth. So, <coughs> um, okay. So first of all, uh, what is um, our problem? So I, I will always uh, be uh, considering uh, uh, a quantum channel uh, everything despite the fact I will be using free probability, everything will be in finite dimension. So phi is a, is a map which goes from some uh, matrix algebra n by n to some other matrix algebra, they do not, in principle, uh, need to uh, have the same, uh, to be the same matrix algebra, they might have a different dimension. <coughs> and so a quantum term means that it is a completely linear, of course, completely positive and <coughs> trace preserving map. Um, <coughs> uh, and so one of the properties is that it's, um, uh, so it's, it sends what are called density matrices to, to density matrices. Uh, so if I uh, let uh, um, A be um, so what I call D of uh, D of n, so the n by n density matrices. So uh, so this is the matrices which are self-adjoint and. Uh, of trace one <coughs> and such that all its eigenvalues are uh, non-negative. Uh, non then we introduce the von Neumann entropy, the von Neumann entropy, which is <coughs> um, H, uh, H of A. This is a minus sum for I uh, between one and N of uh, lambda I um, log uh, lambda i, where uh, lambda 1 bigger than lambda n are the eigenvalues of a. 
And then we have the minimum output entropy. The, so minimum output entropy, uh, which we denote uh, H min of phi. So this is the mean over all density matrices of uh, the entropy of H of phi <coughs> of A. And the question was, uh, so can one find, can one find uh, phi and phi tilde, two quantum channels such that uh, phi H min of phi tends phi tilde uh, is not equal H min <coughs> of phi plus H min of phi tilde. So this was a really important question of, um, uh, of last um, um, decade, um, of, of, you know, of 10 years ago. Uh, <coughs> um, <coughs> because, uh, so I, I think that this question was, uh, was brought up by, uh, uh, by Ruskai and, uh, and, uh, um, and King um, maybe almost uh, 20 years ago. Um, <coughs> but it was, uh, it was observed by, uh, by Peter Shaw that this was equivalent to the problem of the additivity of the, of the whole level uh, uh, capacity. And it is quite, uh, it is quite uh, easy to check that actually this quantity must be less than this quantity. I mean, it's a simple lemma of, of, of you know, operator algebra, but basically you, have a, you are taking a minimum over more people here than, <coughs> than there. So what you really want is um, uh, find two, uh, two quantum channels such that the minimum output entropy is strictly bigger than the sum of the minimum output entropies. And um, uh, OK, so more <coughs> So the answer, the answer uh, due to uh, um, to Hastings, uh, 2007, I think, uh, but with uh, very uh, important uh, preliminary uh, works by uh, contributions by uh, Haydn, Winter, and well many others, um, <coughs> is that. Uh, uh, yes, we can find such a <coughs> we can find such a, a quantum channels, and <coughs> all the proofs which are available are random proofs. Even ten years later, even even though there is still some interest in the in the question, uh, no non-random. Uh, example is known so far, so no non-random example known so far. And uh, <coughs> the first, um, um, the first um, um, model which was given by Hastings, I'm, I'm slightly simplifying it, but, but essentially the first model was as follows. So the first, the first counter example, so example or counter example, whatever, you know, if you believed into additivity, you will call it a counter example and still is still, uh, okay, maybe counter example is still kind of an accepted uh, terminology, um, <coughs> was to take um, uh, some map which I, could call phi uh, n k, which goes from so the n by n matrices to the k by k matrices, um, and that to a matrix X associates a k by k matrix whose uh, entries are up to a one over k factor, the trace of of u i x u j star uh, where uh, u1 uk are uh, iid 
char unitaries, uh, random matrices. <coughs> what you do is um, you take uh, K um, har n by n har matrices, and each of them you pick it at random according to the har measure on the unitary group, <coughs> and you take them independently, and then you, you, you are able to create this channel which is a, a random channel. So this is this is phi, and uh, phi uh, tilde, uh, phi tilde is uh, <coughs> uh, the same, but uh, replace ui by ui bar. So you see each, uh, each entry, the entry-wise, you take, you take the entry-wise conjugate. So phi tilde is also, uh, maybe I can make the remark, remark that um, uh, uh, phi tilde, uh, phi tilde, phi tilde has the same distribution, distribution as phi, as a random object. Oh, this is the entries. This is the entries of a K by K matrix. Thank you. Thanks. <coughs> so we have two, um, two random objects which have the same distribution. Uh, in terms of when I take the tensor product, um, uh, the minimum output entropy of the tensor product is less than uh, the minimum output Entropy of um, uh, of each um, of each object with with high uh, probability. Um, there is this uh, this uh, this lemma, which is due to well, I suppose to Werner, Werner, Winter maybe. Maybe there is maybe Holevo also contributed. Uh, so which which says that if I take phi tens phi tilde, and if I apply it to uh, the Bell state, uh, to the Bell state, so uh, I will explain in one second. The operator norm of this is at least 1 over k. Um, <coughs> so the Bell state here, this is um, the orthogonal projection, projection onto uh, sum for i between 1 and n of ei tens ei. So ei are the canonical, you know, matrix, um, uh, the canonical basis of, uh, of c to the n. Uh, you could also think of it as, a, you know, as one of the uh, fundamental Jones projections, if you, if you prefer. And uh, this, um, <coughs> this um, um, so this is a, a self-adjoint operator through which, which you send it through um, um, a quantum channel, so a completely positive um, a map, so it remains a, remains a positive um, operator. <coughs> and uh, it is trace per so the trace is, um, is, uh, is one. Um, and this leaves, uh, this, this leaves in, uh, in mk tens uh, mk, so, the, the oper so each eigenvalue should be at least one over k square. <coughs> and in a sense, there is one eigenvalue which is big, which is you know not of order one over k squared, but one over k. <coughs> and um, and this uh, this is uh, an important um, linear algebra trick, which uh, which allows to to show to show this. Um, oh, it is. Uh, this is always um, positive. This not. No, 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 this is yes, yes, exactly, yeah. it's always positive. So this, actually, this result is always true. This is a... Um, so, so, not almost sure, I mean, 
Yes, almost a bit too sure. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> um, okay. Um, and uh, well, so, so last, uh, well, so two weeks ago, I, I, explained, uh, I explained quickly. So <coughs> I won't spend too much time there, but I think m many of you know that uh, actually, I mean, you know, it's also related to, uh, to Yoshimichi's talk. Uh, <coughs> I mean, <coughs> Everybody knows almost that that this is a, this U1 UK are asymptotical, asymptotically um, um, free, <coughs> and if you use in addition um, the, the the strong asymptotic freeness, strong asymptotic freeness, uh, which I uh, proved with uh, uh, Camille, who is here too. Uh, plus uh, the hard group inequality, we can <coughs> conclude that with high probability, so actually almost surely, almost surely, uh, almost surely we have that the limit as n goes to infinity of the minimum output entropy of phi kn. Uh, is uh, bigger than log k minus nine over k. So there is um, the answer is the limit uh, the limit inf. As as um, so I'm not I'm not telling uh, details, <coughs> but the point is that the limit inf of the minimum entropy is rather close to as big as it as it gets. It's close within this uh, constant over k factor. And the fact that you have this one over k here <coughs> uh, entails that the minimum output entropy here is at least uh, uh, um, log k uh, over k uh, away from from as bad as it uh, as it gets, and this log k as uh, as k gets big enough uh, <coughs> uh, beats the nine, and uh, this. Um, This allows to, to obtain um, uh, some violation. So the initial proof by so so this was basically the the, the initial uh, model uh, given by um, by Hastings. Um, the proof was uh, was was different. Um, sorry, maybe I, sh I should have said that. Maybe I should write something. <coughs> so um, so the statement you know, the statement is that uh, there exists uh, some k. Uh, such that with probability one, uh, one has violation of additivity for the minimum output entropy for H min as n goes to infinity. <coughs> and this k actually, here in this context, uh, it can be taken uh, bigger than uh, well, e to the 18, whatever. I mean, 18 is uh, 18 is uh, <coughs> is two times nine. But w anyway, uh, so there is the constant um, which uh, which makes it work. <coughs> and um, okay, so uh, something which is uh, which is quite nature actually. I mean, this uh, this uh, this model is you know. Um, is, is nice, but maybe it's not the most natural model because, <coughs> as uh, as we know, in the in the Stein spring picture, in the uh, according to the Stein spring theorem, uh, <coughs> if uh, if phi again is a map which goes from m n to m k, I can find some there exists some unitary matrix. Uh, U isometry. So I'm always um, okay. Uh, there is an isometry uh, from uh, C n uh, into um, uh, C k tends C n, C capital N, uh, such that uh, phi of x is U x U star, and then uh, I take the trace, the so-called uh, partial trace 
uh, over the, the second leg and the identity over K. So every, every quantum channel can be, can be written like this. <coughs> and uh, therefore, and actually, after Hastings' paper, uh, um, uh, Chris King and uh, Moto Fukuda um, uh, also studied uh, this, uh, um, uh, this model and proved that, uh, that uh, um, it, uh, it yields a violation of the minimum output entropy, uh, of the additivity of for the minimum output entropy. So this is quite natural somehow, because this is the most, the most uh, um, natural, uh, uh, I mean, it's the most general model that you can think of somehow. <coughs> so, um, so from now on, I will focus on um, the following model. So, so model, so I'm, I'm just uh, moving away from this, uh, 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 independent uh, higher unitaries. What we do is we uh, we fix uh, we. So I'm just um, um, you're just being uh, uh, asked to remember that there will be uh, two parameters. So t will be some, a number between zero and one, and k is a, is an integer. <coughs> and then. Uh, for each, uh, for each uh, integer, uh, um, for each uh, integer n, I uh, I take u, uh, let's say v n. So this is uh, um, a random isometry, which sends c to the n to c k tends c capital n. So this is a random isometry. And uh, what I didn't specify is what this capital N here is. Capital N is just any function which depends on N, which has, and I just require it to have an asymptotic property, namely that um, N behaves like T K N. So the so what is the randomness in my, in my model? <coughs> and the, the randomness in my model is that I, I take a random embedding of Cn into this bigger space, but so this here has fixed size, so the output has fixed size, and the relative dimension uh, is also fixed. The ratio of the dimensions is, um, is fixed. <coughs> And what um, <coughs> what Eon? Uh, okay, so so then uh, I suppose I suppose I will abuse the notation and I will keep the same notation. So now my my map will be phi n k again. New definition. Uh, this, this is going to be a map which goes from m n of c to mk of c, so which uh, to x associates uh, vn x vn star, <coughs> and then I take the trace here and the identity here. Um, and well, so phi n k bar, so this is all, yes, so this is uh, the same, but replace uh, Vn by Vn bar, so the, again, the entry-wise uh, conjugate. So here's the same paradigm. The <coughs> these two objects, they are not the same, they are both random, but, they, but as objects, you know, as, as linear objects, as elements in the vector space, and they have the same, <coughs> the same distribution. And what uh, Ion proved uh, last week, uh, so which was uh, uh, proved uh, in our first uh, CMP uh, paper almost 10 years ago, so, uh, so was that if I look at phi n k tens phi bar n k of the Bell state, so same as above, the eigenvalues of this, 
converge to t plus 1 minus t over k square, 1 minus t over k square. So where this here happens k minus 1, k square minus 1 times. And this is almost surely as n goes to infinity. <coughs> um, you should think, you, you, may, you may want to think, if you want to compare these two results, that, uh, that t is 1 over k somehow. So, so you see t, t is somehow 1 over some, some, some dimension. And, uh, okay, so let me, let's see. Uh, <coughs> Maybe I will just send down this. No. <coughs> So, um, yes, uh, so let me just write again the eigenvalues. The eigenvalues, they are t uh, plus 1 minus t over k square, and then 1 minus t over k square, and that happens uh, k square minus 1 times. <coughs> so, so if you have this with uh, probability 1, then you can you can say something about the minimum output entropy of, uh, you can say the minimum output entropy of phi tens phi bar is uh, um, less than, with, with high probability, is less than the entropy of this, um, of this vector um, out here. And <coughs> uh, uh, the result which we, uh, so, so so the first result which we established with, um, with Nikita and Belinsky is the following. We so, uh, prove that um, uh, with probability one, with probability one, um, phi. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So uh, I don't know if I, I had k n or n k. Uh, phi, phi n k of d n <coughs> uh, converges. towards um, to some convex k as n goes to infinity to some k k t where so where the k k t is the collection of density matrices such that for all density matrix trace of AB <coughs> is less than this uh, a quantity which uh, of B which also depends on T. <coughs> so let one one more one more nesting in my definition before I uh, before I, I start to comment where uh, B uh, T is the operator norm of pi B pi, where this here actually B is an element of the k by k matrices, <coughs> and here this is um, this is um, a projection of uh, trace T, which is free from the k by k matrices. <coughs> so the construction goes as follows. What I do is 
I'm going to consider that this element now lives in the free product of uh, the k by k matrix matrices with the normalized trace with uh, um, you know the, the algebra <laughs> the algebra generated by uh, the, the von Neumann algebra generated by uh, <coughs> By a projection, two-dimensional von Neumann algebra generated by a, a projection, such that the projection uh, is um, is um, um, <coughs> projection has a has value has value tau. So um, so we uh, we called it the the compressed uh, t compressed uh, t norm. Uh, because, uh, so let me, so before I continue, <coughs> before I continue uh, speaking, let me get back to my statement. So the statement is we have this, um, we have this random um, quantum channel. We have K, which is fixed. K is, the, K is the output dimension. So you see all this, a quantum channel sends um, a matrix, uh, matri um, density matrix to a density matrix, so all, all density matrices are sent to density matrices. <coughs> so I can consider in particular the image of density matrices. Uh, this is um, a linear application, this is a convex body, so this is going to be a convex body which lies here, and actually it is a, <coughs> since, uh, so this is not, this is a deterministic set, but this is a random map, so, so the image of this is going to be a random, a random convex body. And uh, for example, in the, in the sense of the Hausdorff distance, uh, this random convex body converges with probability one to this convex body, which is defined here. I mean, this is obviously convex because it's, it's defined as an intersection of hyperplanes. <coughs> um, it converges to this convex body, which I define with the help of this free probability notion, this, uh, this free, um, um, this, uh, this, this free compression. <coughs> so, uh, to finish, uh, to um, um, so the corollary of this is uh, that uh, <coughs> uh, uh, with probability one, with probability one, uh, the the limit as n goes to infinity of the minimum of the entropy of phi n k is um, the minimum over all density matrices in k k t of h of a. So we don't, we don't even have a limit in for limit super or whatever. We just know that <coughs> the, the collection of all possible outputs <coughs> converges uh, in, in, you know, in, with respect to some distance which is, which is continuous with respect to the uh, fundamental entropy. So what we just have to do, I mean, just so to say, <coughs> uh, is to compute the minimum of uh, the <coughs> fundamental entropy there. Uh, so when we had this, we were, we were very happy, um, but we didn't realize that actually uh, trying to minimize the, the fundamental entropy here uh, was going to be an extremely um, uh, uh, time-consuming task. Um, <coughs> but actually, it's quite, uh, it's quite interesting from a free priority point of view, so I'd, I want to spend my last um, five or ten minutes uh, discussing, discussing it. <coughs> So uh, minimizing, so uh, so uh, computing, and uh, locating <coughs> uh, the minimum. of uh, H uh, over uh, K K. Okay, 
So, uh, tableau 2, if you want to see. <coughs> okay, so. Um, so, maybe I should uh, write one. One quick lemma, it's, it's, quite, it's very simple, but uh, so uh, a, a lemma which is actually the, the map that to x associates x t is a norm. Um, it's always a norm, actually. If t is 1, this is the infinite norm, um, but you know, for, for all uh, t is strictly bigger than 0, uh, this is a. Uh, this is a, <coughs> a norm. Okay. Um, and um, <coughs> one of our uh, first thoughts was okay, so, so one of our first thoughts was that <coughs> you know, minimizing the fundamental entropy is just too, um, um, it's just too too difficult, we didn't know how to do it. So <coughs> we, we looked at a uh, at, um, related problem, and this actually had uh, been studied quite a lot also in the context of um, the minimum output entropy um, uh, studies. Related problem, which was to maximize uh, the LP norm on KKT. If we can do it for every p, strictly bigger than 1, then as p goes to 1, uh, we might be able to, minim to minimize the minimum, out minimum output entropy. <coughs> okay. Um, and our next thought was that this KKT is actually quite difficult to, to understand because it is defined in a dual way somehow. <coughs> the nice thing about LP norms is that you can dualize it. You and and you could try to, to, I mean, somehow you can reformulate this problem as <coughs> comparing the free compressed norm uh, and the, the LQ norm, for f f where Q is, uh, is the complement of P. So we, you know, we tried this route, which we found quite uh, promising, but actually, uh, I mean, it did indeed the work, but it works, it works a posteriori. We have a result uh, a posteriori, but it didn't work as a, as a route to, to, to maximize the, the LP norm. <coughs> and um, so uh, one, of, uh, one of the important uh, um, results, technical results that, um, that allowed us to, um, um, <coughs> to solve the problem was that, um, so we observed that <coughs> um, so, um, okay, let's see. So, uh, KKT uh, is um, <coughs> the image, uh, is the image of, of uh, DK under the map that to X associates gradient of the T norm so <coughs> so this uh, this rate actually uh, uh, it's not completely um, not completely obvious but uh, so there is actually there is one uh, there is one thing which is not completely exact here or maybe I'm not sure it's exact what we really have is that this is the intersection I should intersect with diagonal but uh, that doesn't matter because of the unitary um, <coughs> uh, invariance. Yes, thank you. <coughs> so what we are doing from now on is we reduce ourselves to uh, diagonal matrices. So uh, everything boils down. So, so the next task is uh, is now to 
find, so the new task is to find the maximum of um, <coughs> of this um, uh, tenor of the of the pinor uh, uh, here for x belongs to the diagonal matrices. So this is diagonal matrices. And actually, <coughs> it was just simpler not to have a, a one over root p. So, so we, take, we take this instead, so which we actually call g of x. <coughs> and... Um, um, Yes, so you see, this, this is a norm. So if I take the gradient, this is a vector. With respect to G? Uh, no, this is, I mean, it's, 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 it's a map from, <coughs> from uh, let's say, actually, sorry, I should, I should put Rn here, sorry. So, so it's a map from Rn to R, and I take its gradient. So this is a vector in Rn, <coughs> and I take the, the T norm in, a, in, in, in a, the, P, the, the P norm of this vector in Rn. And uh, well, so <coughs> uh, I will get straight to the uh, uh, to the point. So the the, so the the main result result is that uh, the maximum <coughs> is always reached at point one. Zero zero. Um, so actually, <laughs> you know what? Maybe what I should actually have done is I should have taken the simplex here. So this is a, I should have taken trace one. Sum x i is one. Sorry. Yes, exactly. It doesn't, it doesn't depend on p. So the, so the maximum is always reached. I was, uh, thank you. I was, I was about to, to say it. Uh, <coughs> the max is always reached at, at point p, uh, irrespective. <coughs> um, so uh, what, um, what this means is that we, that we are very lucky because we can do it for HP, and then let P tend to 1. Uh, <coughs> so what you have is that you have this, uh, this strange map, and you see, which, uh, which sends a simplex to uh, your uh, convex body, to your K, K, T, like this, K, K, T. And the image of this guy, actually, I didn't tell all the details, and I won't have time to tell all the details, but a map here is always sent to a point, to a point here. And <coughs> uh, what you see is that this is always going to maximize, to maximize the LP norm, the LP norm. So then you let, you, it, is, it is quite easy to identify this point. Then you let P uh, tend to one, you compute the, the entropy. <coughs> And you get the minimum. Uh, you get the minimum output entropy um, uh, like that. <coughs> so um, the the task of minimizing this, um, uh, of finding the, the maximum, uh, you know, sounded very uh, very scary to uh <coughs> to us. But actually, um, if you use uh, if you use the, the, the implicit equations of um, uh, you know f to, to to compute the the norm of an, of an um, I mean, which are used, uh, um, you know, with the still just uh, 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 approach um, in free probability. In free probability, uh, <coughs> uh, you are a, actually you obtain lots of very nice properties of this map. Right? You obtain that it has local maxima. Uh, the, this uh, this map here uh, has um, has local maxima. Uh, Whenever this uh, thing is too valued here, and uh, 
and then you have to find the max, you have to, to decide which, uh, which set of two valued vector is actually going to be the highest one, and then there is another very interesting uh, uh, trick with, uh, you know, with some modification of the S transform, which shows that actually this is, this is the one which is the, where you have as little, uh, as little um, a big, uh, uh, as when, when the big value is as small as possible, uh, has, has a, a number which is as small as possible, which, uh, which maximizes the, 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 the entropy. So anyway, this, um, uh, this um, T norm uh, is, very, um, is very interesting and allows us to prove this result. And we obtain a violation of the minimum output additivity entropy. Then you just you know, run everything on Mathematica and you see you get a um, violation uh, which can be as big as log two. You see that uh, you can get a violation with probability one if and only if k is bigger than 183, you, you get all these things. But anyway, uh, the point is that um, and there are very nice uh, free probability uh, tools behind that. And I stop here. <laughs>